comes to staying healthy and losing weight, cravings can be the death of you. So what is it that makes us crave certain things? Well, Neva Cochran, registered dietitian, nutritionist, she's both, is here to help us curb those cravings. But when you're pregnant, right? Mm -hmm. Which is even worse, because you're growing this human being, yes. you're definitely gonna have cravings, your hormones are out of control, yes. so you're here to help us with that. Exactly. Okay. So and what's some practical advice, just for like right off the bat, for expecting moms, you know, and we all get concerned about gaining weight. I was pretty lucky, I didn't yeah. gain much, but you do worry about it. Yes, and, and you need to, to eat. You need to eat three meals, you need to eat snacks, because you do need a few extra calories, uh, a couple of hundred extra calories a day when you're pregnant. But the key is to try to make those calories as nutritious as possible. And when you have cravings, you know, it's kind of hard to control. But, you know, the experts say they really don't know why we have cravings, there's a lot of theories. We do know that hormones go up significantly during pregnancy, and that can alter your sense of taste and smell, which wow. can affect what you crave or what you have an aversion to. Mm -hmm. Also, some people think it might be that you're craving or needing a certain nutrient in your body. They kind of don't think that's really true because what happens on the cellular level is probably doesn't express itself in a craving for chocolate. Got it, got it. And you said something important though because a lot of women will use the fact that they're pregnant as an excuse to eat whatever they want. Right. But like you said, you only need about 200 extra calories right. a day. So yeah, it's eating for two, but it's not eating for two adults. <laughs> exactly. It's eating for two you and a tiny little baby. I love it. Well, give us some tips well, here. Well, I wanted to first say, you know, I talked to my friend Bridget Sweeney, mm -hmm. who is a, a registered dietitian nutritionist in El Paso, and she wrote this book, Eating Expectantly, and it does cover the topic of food cravings, mm -hmm. and so Good. she was able to help me with some great uh, tips on this. So, first of all, um, one of the, the, the foods that are often craved is something savory, like a steak. Or and a cheeseburger. Beef. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, you know, what do you get in a steak that your body needs during pregnancy? Iron. Protein and iron. Mm -hmm. Both of those go up by 50% when you're pregnant. Oh, wow. So it's great to have some beef, especially lean beef like this mm -hmm. filet, um, and it's very low in fat. So that's the idea is a three-ounce serving that uh, will satisfy that craving, but not too much. So can I wrap it in bacon? Well, you might do that occasionally. Protein, right? <laughs> occasionally. Well, it's actually mostly fat. Oh. Oh, no. But, I'm trying to make myself feel better, but... Yeah. Okay, and so what about the ice cream? The traditional here? ice cream? Well, ice cream is dairy, and that's one of the most craved foods mm -hmm. during pregnancy. But good news is it comes with sugar, and you may need a little blood sugar boost when you're oh, pregnant. Okay. Sometimes you kind of feel tired and worn out. So that's one of the reasons they think we might crave carbs is because it gives you that blood sugar that you sure. need to give uh, a little perk up. But good news is it comes not only with the sugar, but it also comes with calcium mm -hmm. and protein and riboflavin, all nutrients that are in milk. So it comes with a lot of good nutrition that you need to. And what's great now is that so many companies are doing single serve exactly. packages and so you know when to stop. Exactly. <laughs> well, that is the key. Okay, pickles and chocolate. Tell okay. me about this. Every pregnant woman, pickles and ice cream. Exactly. Right? So we got our pickles here. Pickles, Salt. Ah, Salt. Got it. And you do need a little more sodium during pregnancy because your blood volume expands to feed the growing baby. Mm -hmm. So there might be really a reason that you're craving salt because you may need a little more. It also has some crunch. Maybe satisfy that crunchy craving that you have. So instead of chips, grab a pickle. Exactly. There you a go. lot lower in calories. Chocolate. Chocolate. Well, who doesn't love chocolate? Right. But one of the things, it has a chemical in it that raises your endorphin levels, mm -hmm. your feel good chemicals. So who needs uh, to feel better? Everybody. But so. careful because they all always warn us about our caffeine intake and there's caffeine in Very, right? very okay. low. Don't right. worry about it. But it also has magnesium, a nutrient that you need during pregnancy as well. Very so. good. Well, very quickly because we're almost out okay. of time. But tell me about these two because these are important. Cheese, again, salt and dairy, calcium okay. and protein, and then bread. It's usually the carbs to get that sugar for the energy. So it's okay to eat them. Again, watch your portions. And again, just moderation, you know, listen to your doctor mm -hmm. and then take all of these tips into effect and you're going to be great. Back in bikini yes. shape in no time, right? Yes. <laughs> I love okay. it. Well, you can get more from Neva by going to our website, thebroadcasttv.com. Just click on today's links. We're back with more broadcasts right after this. Shh, shh.